There was scarcely anything human about what the Black Sun had created in this place, and their lackey, Major Tronxy, had become so insane that he still continued to fight, even with dozens of bullets in his body. Nevertheless, I felt better, because I had found an ally in my former playmate, Stefan Albers. What had moved the once so bright farm boy to serve in Hitler's army was a puzzle to me, but his words gave me clues about my grandfather. Concrete clues. Unbelievable clues. Insane clues. And that was only the beginning. Hello everyone and welcome back to Robert E. Anderson and the Legacy of Cthulhu. Welcome, what the hell? What the hell? Welcome to the fourth chapter. And looks like we found an ally in Stefan, our former playmate. And ooh, look at that, it's got some, some skull paperweights here, looks nice. And looks like the SS is our enemy rather than the Wehrmacht, at least at this point. Because Stefan is as interested in rotting them out as we are. And they also want to resurrect our dead occultist grandfather. Let's be a little bit careful here. Which makes this game look a little bit more like... These creatures are still dangerous when they're dead. That is true. So, we can look through here. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. Let's check out this side of the room. Nope. Got a nice Black Sun poster here. Yeah, the one to resurrect Robert's Okutus Grandfather to make this game look more like Return to Castle Wolfenstein. What was that? Never mind. Okay, so. Ooh, look at that. A Cthulhu face in the middle of the Black Sun. So this is like a high security area of the Order of the Black Sun. So entrance for civilians, scientific personnel, and and members of, of the army without special permit is not allowed. And you'll get capital punishment if you if you violate that. And it's um, it's signed by Major Trotsky, whom we killed. So now Stefan is the highest ranking Wehrmacht officer. So, and also the orders of, of like the highest one, the masters, and the ritual leaders and their, their acolytes, uh, those orders are to be followed without question. So that's said and done. Let's go through here. Nope, requires key to open as well. So is the, oh yeah, there's a door here. Regarding the translation of the subtitles, I briefly mentioned that during the intro to this series here. Oh, hello. You're dressed in black, so I guess you're you are SS personnel. Or maybe... That looks slightly more like a naval uniform, to be honest. But I'm not an expert on, on military uniforms, so I could be completely wrong here. Anything here? Oh yeah, we can just go around here, I guess. Well, that really matters. Let's get some more floating ammunition. Even more floating ammunition. Do we start with any other weapons? We do. We've, we've got our our shotgun here. Or at least, wait, is it even a shotgun? How? Okay, we should not reload that if we don't have to, because this takes forever. Got a very red altar here. That is some um, Cthulhu language. I do not know how to translate. And I've got more Cthulhu fan posters here. Journal and of my grandfather. But it can't be genuine. There are entries here from 1720. Oh dear. Could it be that your grandfather's a lot older than you thought? Maybe. Oh. That was rather effective. We don't have a whole lot of bullets for this one here, so I think I'm... Oh, that's just a dead guy. So I think I'm just going to switch back to my regular gun. And don't really need those pills. And only use the... Oh, look at that piano. Only use this one here when we actually face strong opposition. Oh. So you... Oh, oh dear, that's not good. So let's take a step back here. And we are always sliding down these. How 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 tough are you? 
You haven't hit me at all yet, so it's not really a problem, except that I'm bursting through quite a lot of ammunition here. The, the German mates. So at the, the magazine of the, I uh, can call this, like of the union of, of German, German girls in the Hitler youth. Hitler's Oh, got a key here. Hitler's Boy Scout Organization. Let's put, get some of floating ammunition here, and I think that's probably it for this room. Yeah, there's a balcony thingy there, but you can't really can't really get up there. I think this was an S um, SS or Wehrmacht recruitment poster for I think Belgium. Not quite sure. Okay, more black sound posters, and let's see. Which door this actually opens? Probably this one here. This looks... Nope, this one doesn't even have a command. Let's try it anyway. Nope, enter does nothing. So let's just backtrack a little bit. To be honest, so far the first level seemed to be one of the harder ones. Have these rather mean jumping puzzles and a couple of other... other well, not, not really difficult puzzles, but puzzles were a little bit more difficult than stuff we'd had to face. In later levels, but don't worry, this game is going to get harder. More pianos. They really like their their musical Magic education here. Technology combined. A guide to the research of the Black Sun. That's convenient. And flying saucers. Let's go through here, and let's check out what we have over here. So, got some ammunition. I really can't. The immortal soldier. Feasibility study on the reanimation of corpse material. Oh my god. Oh my god. How dare they. This is... Whatever this is, it's very, very black. It is most black. Also... Random hallway here. This looks like wallpaper. I mean, even in-game this looks like wallpaper. This is the rear court of our castle. I played here with Albers as a small boy. Okay. Be careful here, because it's rather dark. So there's a couple of doors over there. There's also one over here. Just press enter. So we can go up here. Can we just walk through here? We can, evidently. And we'll end up... Oh, we'll end up over here. So we could go upstairs. Well, I'm not moving, so you can't really complain. I'm only jiggling on the stairs here. And what do we have here? More keys. Of course. It's always the keys. And here we have a submarine painting, or rather print, I guess. Let's pop another quick save here. And not that you can actually see that. Let's see what we have here. So apparently you can enter this without a key, so this... Oh! Oh, I saw your feet. But I don't think I can actually get up here. So... I do, or can, well, can, I, can I climb up this ladder? That doesn't really look like it's going to work. But it does. How am I supposed to do... This is not going to work. Oh, you died a lot faster than I thought you died. And you didn't even hit me. So here we have a switch. Now it's on. Whatever that did, can I climb down here without taking falling damage? I can. I can just stick to the ladder. How convenient. So... So we came... Th wait. So why... What do you even get that key for? Because... This door has a sort of remote control. Oh, so this was a door we opened here's with. Here's a safety lock. What? But we solved those puzzles. So let's just go. Oh damn, this looks rather dangerous. Can we call up this, this lift here somehow? Any switch? Nope, doesn't look like it, so I guess we have to take the jump. No, oh, come on, stay open. And that was it apparently, so see you next time.